students welcome to our social science class in today's class we are going to learn block 18.3 this lesson and the topic is traveling in other ways right so on the screen you can see that uh, it is a vehicle which travels on the places where there is lot of snow right where the land is covered with snow we already know about the different types of vehicles that are used in cities and towns today we will learn about other types of transport used for travel okay we know well very well about the buses trucks cars bicycles scooters all this we know so today we will learn about other types of transport used for travel the keywords that we are going to learn are terrain terrain is a particular type of land is a type of land jeep a type of vehicle that can be used in rough uh, terrain where there is no road or in a jungle or a forest okay jeep can be used in a places where there is rough land and uh, where there are forests or jungle ski a pair of long thin pieces of wood or plastic that can move easily over snow okay and foot bridge what is foot bridge a narrow bridge that is used only for walking so now look at this picture here we can see the stream this water body so if you have to cross this bridge what is the best way and here is a hill if you want to reach the top of the hill and when there are no roads around so what is the transport that you are going to take okay that we are going to find out now so let us watch this video there are different kinds of bridges to cross rivers and streams some are hanging bridges made of rope some are made of roots of trees some are foot bridges made of wooden planks and some made of slabs of stone how can we travel on these types of terrains we can build a foot bridge with wooden planks to cross a stream okay in the picture we saw the stream right if we want to cross if we want to go to the other side of the stream then we can use a foot bridge with wooden planks which is built with the wooden planks we can use a cable car to travel across the hills we can ski through the snow or use sledges a jeep can help us to travel over rough and muddy areas so this is the order for the picture is shown in the left and which transport we can use is shown in the right so over a stream wooden foot bridge uh, to reach the hill over the hills a cable car in the land where it is covered with snow skiing and if the terrain is rough or if it's a jungle or a forest jeep is best right how is traveling through the different difficult paths different from traveling on roads traveling through the snow rivers forests and hills is not easy because there are often no proper roads it is not easy to travel in snow rivers forests and hills we could have accidents if we try to cross such areas using vehicles like cars buses or motorcycles okay so if you have to cross this snow rivers and forests and hills using if you try your own transport or the usual transport there might be accidents so if we use vehicles like cars buses or motorcycles there might be accidents on this places so therefore we use different other ways such as bridges across a stream cable cars in the hills snow mobiles in the snow and jeeps in the forest the same thing is represented here the question is why do we need different vehicles to for rough terrain okay we use different vehicles for a rough terrain because there are no proper roads it will be difficult to drive on rough terrain then accidents could happen uh, with regular vehicles right so how can we stay safe when traveling on rough paths or grounds how can we stay safe 
we can travel slowly we can choose the most appropriate way of traveling we can travel during the day we should avoid traveling alone okay when we are going on traveling on the rough terrains we have to remember these things travel slowly choose the best way of traveling appropriate way of traveling and better to travel in the daytime so that there is light for us to see properly and avoid traveling alone because even if we are in some problem also the others will be helping us now all of you open your worksheet put today's date the first question which of these paths will be harder to travel by car tick the correct option so picture a has a nice clear road picture b has no road and the terrain is also rough so harder to travel by car is picture b put a tick to b and question 2 which of which vehicle can help in each situations choose a vehicle from the box and explain how it can help us okay in the help box we have jeep bicycle snowmobile cable car and situation here they have given there is a very muddy path if the path is very muddy we can use the jeep okay reason is that jeep has very big wheels on it and it can easily travel over our muddy area there is a very steep vehicles then we can use a cable car cable car even if there are no roads also cable car can uh, transport people right then question 3 how can we be careful while traveling in the snow we can use the skis or uh, sledges so that we don't slip right in order to not to slip we can use this and uh, let's move on to the content book practice questions write if true or false if we can we can travel on a muddy path using a cable car is false mm. we can use a snowmobile to travel across the ice true second question binay wants to reach his friend's house at the top of the hill there is no proper road to reach there binay should drive or should take a cable car give a reason binay should take a cable car because the roads are rough so if he takes a car um, he might uh, meet with an accident so cable car is the best third question how can we be safe while traveling in a forest we can use uh, vehicles like jeeps while traveling in a forest in order to uh, because there are there won't be proper roads so jeep is the best to avoid accidents because it can travel in rough terrains okay do read the lesson from the content book complete your work that's all for now thank you have a good day bye bye